Be afraid, be very afraid. I've heard that expression several times in recent weeks and months, largely referring to what's been happening within the whole Kosatu business with the denial of the Constitution, etc. But just recently, I've heard it more and more, referring not only to that, but also to what's been going on in the government generally. And then this week, one of the readers contacted me to give me a biblical quotation from Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 12, one particular line, and be horribly afraid. Well, this followed, of course, the whole matter of Umar al-Bashir, the tyrant of Sudan, who uh, seems to have managed to undermine or be helped to help to undermine both our constitution and the high court. Nonetheless, I think we shouldn't necessarily be horribly or even very afraid, but we should be deeply concerned about the undermining of the rule of law. Now, I'm not naive about the rule of law at all. I think that the French writer Anatole France summed it up correctly, and I, I think I quote him accurately, when he said, the law in its, mag in its mag ma majestic equality, I beg your pardon, its majestic equality forbids the rich and the poor from sleeping under bridges, from begging in the streets, and from stealing bread. In other words, the rich have a choice, the poor do not. And the law, let's face it, is frequently an ass. And it is a wallet that often weighs the scales of justice in favor of the rich rather than the poor. But you know, over the centuries, it's been a struggle by ordinary people to gain more and more traction, more and more democracy, to reach the point that we're at now, which is a form of partial democracy. But it's worth defending, and it's worth extending. Now, within this unequal society, the sellers of labor were the ones who began to struggle and bring out rules themselves, which are intensely democratic in many, in many ways. And what this means is that Kosatu, and it, it fits the bill here, Kosatu members have the right to change things. With governments, it's slightly more difficult. Nonetheless, it's up to us, up to you and me and everyone else, to push for what we think is right and proper to be done. In the final analysis, it is up to us. And that's what I think I'm going to concentrate on in my Inside Labour column, which you can read on this platform tomorrow and uh, on the City Press business section, page two, on Sundays. In the meantime, of course, it's over to you. The column below, the comment column, you can comment on, or else you can send your commentaries, your questions, or whatever, to editor at fin24.com. That's editor at fin24.com. And for this week, that's all from me. Cheers. <laughs>